The Earl and Countess of Wessex have become central figures in the royal family in recent months and helped to fill the void caused by the Duke of Edinburgh's death and the Sussexes' decision to step down from senior royal duties. Prince Edward, 57 not only represented the Queen at Ascot this year but was one of the first of the royals to speak to the media after Prince Philip's passing on April 9. Edward Said. He was always terribly self-effacing. He gave people the nudge of encouragement, and off they go. He was the sort of person that once met, was never forgotten. In the same revealing CNN interview, the prince was also vocal on the family rift caused by Harry and Meghan's departure from the firm. He said, it's difficult for everyone but that's families for you. We wish them the very best of luck, it's a really hard decision. Edward made history in 1964 when he was just a baby and the Queen introduced her youngest son to the public for the first time at her official birthday celebration Trooping the Color. She held Edward in her arms on the Buckingham Palace balcony for the cheering crowds below to see. The Trooping the Color has marked the birthday celebrations of the Sovereign for over 260 years and includes 1400 parading soldiers, 400 musicians and streets lined with adoring fans. It has also become a rite of passage for young royals and is considered an opportunity to welcome family members to the public. In 2019 PopSugar claimed, Prince Edward was the youngest royal family member to make his debut under Queen Elizabeth II's reign at just three months old. For context Prince Louis, at six weeks old, was not allowed to join the royal family on the Buckingham Palace balcony in 2018 as he was, simply too young, according to Town & Country. At the time the Cambridge's youngest son had only made one public appearance on the steps of the Lindo wing of the hospital, and was in turn also unable to attend his uncle Harry's wedding to Meghan. Edward's strong bond with his mother may explain why he was allowed to break the unofficial royal protocol. A royal insider told Express.co.uk in 2017. Edward has molded into a quiet and efficient figure who does not seek attention or acquire headlines. He and Sophie are liked for being dutiful and uncomplaining. NYU Longoni Pediatric Associates pediatrician Dr. Robin Jacobson told Town & Country that it was preferable that newborns stay inside and avoid large crowds for the first two months to avoid sickness. Recent young royals have followed such advice, with Prince George not appearing on the balcony until a month after his second birthday, while his younger sister Princess Charlotte also appeared after she turned two. William and Kate's youngest, Prince Louis, made his first appearance on the famous balcony when he was 14 months old. Prince Harry, however, delighted royal spectators on the Buckingham Palace balcony at just nine months old in 1985. Related articles Prince Harry's Afghanistan comments. Take a life to save a life Princess Anne's bitter swipe at Fergie left Duchess of York in tears insider claimed Meghan Markle didn't listen to Camilla's advice. <laughs>